Hi Cancer, welcome to your new love reading for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, this is still the singles reading. So if you're new to my channel, I did change it from uh, singles reading to new love reading. So it's the same idea. Um, I did change the format a little bit. So you can let me know in the comments below what you think of the new format. We're still going to look at this person. This is intended for singles wondering about new love coming in, their next significant relationship or maybe even their next date or whatever have you here take it how it resonates for you but um we will look at this person's energy um what the connection could be like perhaps how you'll feel about each other obstacles or block blockages that could be uh advice uh guidance possible outcome so you can let me know how you like this format um if you're not familiar with my past readings check the description box below for your general and love playlist love playlist you'll find the previous singles uh, readings if you are connected with someone but not together so you do consider yourself single I do uh, love connection readings all the May readings are up where I look at a connection between you and another whether you're together or not so feel free to uh, check those out also so this is intended for Cancer Sun Moon Rising and Venus male or female it's a general collective reading not a private reading and as I said take it how you feel it may resonate for you um, and there's a lot of stuff down in the description box, so do feel free to check that out. And if you're new and you vibe with my style, feel free to check out my channel, like what you see, subscribe, all that great stuff. We greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell. Uh, you won't miss out. Get about four or five readings a month, actually. So, and welcome, everybody. Hope you're all staying healthy and safe at this time. So, first thing we're going to do here, Cancer, is get an overall kind of like energy see what energy this person is in and then with this deck here we'll look at like their spiritual energy their soul energy and this here we'll look at their love energy what they're all like in love how they feel about love view love and that kind of energy then we'll clarify all that with the tarot we'll get into the tarot all right so for cancer singles oh i guess it's your card new love incoming love all right, so let's see what kind of energy this person has spirit energy soul energy what is their spiritual energy like for Cancer singles, male or female, someone who has a Venus, general collective, or Cancer, please? What is this new? That's too many. Okay, this one. That one. And let's get their love energy. What is this love energy like in this person? New love possibly coming in. Not taking that one because <laughs> I didn't like the way it fell. Okay. New love coming into Cancer. Singles. What is this person's love energy like? For Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Male, female. Channel, collective. All right. Take this one. And I've seen it. I already know what the card is. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so whether... It's good, bad. I'm going to just say it like it is. I've had a couple of these uh, new love readings where they weren't so great. So hopefully we'll get a good reading for you, um, Cancer. And as for the signs, I'm only going to use the court cards as, as in the kings or queens to specify signs so it's not so confusing. Otherwise, we have all the signs here anyway. So don't get too caught up on that either. So let's see what kind of energy this person has. So we have Master. Ooh, this is the Devil. 15 here so 15 is about 15 but then you would reduce that to six one five six six is about healing and balance but this is the devil energy so they could have addictions obsessions or they could have fear doubt low self-esteem depression um kind of or they could be someone very controlling also so i don't know we see when we get into the tarot but the devil can also be a very passion, passionate person, a lot of sexual attraction um, kind of energy also. So let's see what their spirit and soul energy is. Bold, unleash your adventurous side, take risks, and be daring. Oh, I think this person is very, very daring. <laughs> very daring in all ways, in all aspects. Wow, they're not afraid, they're not scared of anything. It could be like a little daredevil kind of energy also, like they're not really afraid of anything. They're willing to try new things, um, do things that would be scary to other people. That's what I'm kind of getting. They could be just, you know, master of their emotions and feelings, and they're not afraid to, you know, 
<laughs> go skydiving or swallow fire. I don't know, something where normal people wouldn't do certain things that they do. And sometimes they may even put their life at risk by doing like maybe stupid things for a thrill. Wow. Okay, so let's see. This could be like a bad girl, bad boy vibe I'm getting. But we do have here spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. We have do, do have 27 here, which is nine. And nine is about almost coming to a completion or a cycle of some kind. So, I mean, they could be also spiritual, a very spiritual person also, but I don't know. But um, they could be spiritual. And I think when they connect with people, I feel like they only connect with people that they feel a deep, deep connection with. Um, also, I feel like if they don't vibe with you, they just, they don't vibe with you. But um, when they do, they connect deeply, I feel. Wow. Okay. This person could be very intense in all ways. All right, so let's clarify this energy for you, Cancer. Let's clarify this energy for Cancer. Clarify this energy. And nine is usually, for me, uh, a single energy, too. So they definitely could be single here. All right, so let's clarify this person's energy for you, Cancer. That's just crazy how the bold came out with uh, the devil. So I'm getting, like, a really like daredevil energy like they love adrenaline rush they love doing things risky dangerous wow okay so let's see let's clarify this energy for cancer possible new love coming in for cancer please the emperor yeah wow yeah this is somebody who is in control like at all times or they think they are the emperor in the devil there could be someone very very controlling or they're just really you know not afraid of anything they take lead control they do what they want again um getting like that risky daredevil kind of energy all right so what else here the seven of swords kind of energy Ooh. so the seven of swords can be lies to see Self-deceit, um, running from a situation. So let's get a few more before I clarify all this energy. Clarify. Well, the Ten of Pentacles, so it's a good energy. Let's get two more. So, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is about commitment, marriage, Two of Wands, so crossroads kind of energy with the Two of Wands. One more. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So, <laughs> brand new beginning here. So, I feel like this person So, we do have the Emperor with the Devil uh, as somebody who is not afraid of anything. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> was not afraid of anything. I don't think they like to be bored because I get this energy like this person just sitting here like, ugh, you know? So I don't think they like to be bored. They don't like to sit around. They don't um, like that kind of energy. They could be wealthy with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Um, but Crossroads here. So they, you know, and this Ace of Pentacles is, you know, a brand new beginning of some kind. Um... Stability, growth, expansion for the long term, wealth, abundance. They could be at a crossroad. If they're not wealthy, they're at a crossroads in their life where they need to make a decision uh, for, about a new beginning, which could bring them the wealth that they're looking for. Where they could be, I feel, okay, I'm getting the message now. So this person could be somebody who has this golden opportunity to choose a new path in life that would lead them to the Ten of Pentacles to be either like a boss or maybe like uh, a blue cloud, you know, a office job or something like that. But it's not something that they would normally want to do. 
So whether it's working in an office or being a CEO or vice president or something like that, which would give them the Ten of Pentacles energy, it's like Seven of Swords, they may turn their back on it and run from it because that can be the en that energy also, or lying to themselves or self-deceit. So they could either be in this energy where they accepted this position because of, they seen great wealth in it, but now they feel like they could be at a crossroads because it's not fulfilling for them um, kind of energy. So they're either in a position of being a boss or something like that with the emperor and they feel weighed down by it, like that devil energy. Like they feel like it's just tearing their soul apart. It's not where they want to be. It's not what they, you know, like. It's like a devil energy to them. So now they could feel like they're at a crossroads. What do I do now? So they could be, we know, bold, you know, maybe they're going to do something bold here and actually, you know, with that crossroads, uh, decide to go off and run from the job or run from the position. Wow. Okay. So let's see here. So they could actually be wealthy, but I don't feel like they're happy at where they're at, what they're doing. It's not what they love to do. So they're feeling that seven swords energy, just like, I just want out. I want out. I want out. They feel a trap and caged, what they're doing. I don't feel like there's someone that li likes to be trapped and confined into like that normal nine to five job. All right. So let's see how you'll meet. I don't feel comfortable taking that. Let's see not how you meet, but let's see how you'll feel about this person. Cancer. Prince of Cups. So I do believe that is the Knight of Cups. Let's get three. Oh, the star. It's good energy. Let's get one more. And the Magician. Wow. So you're going to want to move this forward with them. <laughs> wow. Uh, signs, no signs yet. I'm just doing the kings or queens for the signs, so it's not so confusing. So Knight of Cups here moving forward in love. So you're going to want to move this forward in love. You're going to want to manifest this brand new beginning with them. The star, you're going to see this as a divinely guided connection. Uh, faith, hope, being faith, you know, having that faith, that optimism. It's a healing energy. It's divinely guided energy. Wishes and dreams coming true. Again, they could be a star or just a uh, very significant person in uh, whatever career they're in. So they could be a big name, you know, big business owner or something like that. Um, and wow, you're going to be, you're, you're going to want, you're going to want to move this along. You know, you, you're going to be like, oh, this is my dream. I wish come true. Manifesting, you're going to want to manifest this brand new beginning with them. Wow. So let's see how they will feel about you. So you have the Seven of Wands energy. So this is going to be a little defensive on guard or an energy of fighting for something. And we have the Four of Wands. So this is, you know, can be about commitment, marriage, uh, stable home life. It says completion there. It's my Twin Flame card. Uh, doesn't have to be, though. Going on a date, moving in, you know, all that energy. So let's get one more. Let's get one more. Wow, the Ace of Swords, brand new beginning, uh, truth, clarity, enlightenment. I feel like they may be a little defensive, taken aback at first, or they're really want, gonna wanna fight for you too. But if they're a little defensive on guard at first, then I feel like they're gonna have a big epiphany realization here with the Ace of Swords. This is my divine intervention, divine clarity card. Um, I come to realize, wow, you know, maybe I do want commitment or, you know, take this person out or, you know, get to know this person or, you know, that kind of energy. So if they come out off to you like a little defensive or on guard, um, maybe just a front, but they'll soon have clarity that they want some sort of completion with you, whether it's finally taking you out on date, um, commitment in the future plus, uh, possibly here. Wow. So I see something. So if they are like a live entertainer, say like out on the street or like at the park or at nighttime or at like nighttime events or something like that, say, I know spring, well not spring, summer or fall, or maybe all getting back out into the social world. I feel like they do something daring 
an exciting, like as a side job, a side hobby, apart from this nine to five job, which they hate. They could swallow swords, they could swallow fire, they could be a fire thrower, uh, something really uh, exciting and daring where, you know, maybe what they do, they're very popular at what they do. Um, they could even juggle, like juggle swords, juggle fire, you know, something, something unique, like a live, um, like alternative entertainer would do. And I know that sounds strange, but hey, but um, you may like that about them. You know, maybe you're kind of into that stuff. So I see like nighttime energy here and I'm getting, um, well, I don't think it would be winter, but definitely summer there. And a lot of nighttime energy. So summer or winter. Wow. Okay. Because you see like this person performing, <laughs> well, performing for the monkey, but they're still performing. They could even be in a band, maybe like a metal band or a grunge band or something like that also. Wow, some sort of entertain, like uh, entertaining. So that's what I see. So this may not be for everybody, so please keep that in mind. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here what blockages or challenges may come up for this connection. The Wheel of Fortune. This is about divine timing, fate, destiny, things moving forward. So it's going to be some sort of blockage about moving this forward or letting this move forward for some reason. Prince of Wands. So the Prince of Wands here is the Knight of Wands, can be sometimes a little bit of a player, in and out energy. Somebody, somebody may be a little bit of a player, may just want the passion, don't want to commit right away. This could be this defensive energy. We are, we're not really letting this uh, move forward to its full potential with the Wheel of Fortune. Because we do have 10 there, again, with about completions, things coming full circle. Um, so somebody may just want the in and out passionate energy. The Prince of Wands, the Knight of Wands. All right, let's see. So I do see a lot of fire and passion here. Ten of Wands energy. So that's oppression. So that's heavy burdens. All right, so let's get a few more for the blockages, possible blockages here. Six of Swords. So that's healing, balance, leaving BS behind and going to a better place. All right. Get one more, one more for possible blockages or uh, obstacles for this. The High Priestess. Intuition, higher knowing, gut feeling, secrets. So there may be secrets or somebody uh, may reveal secrets <laughs> that the other person may not like. Because the high priestess usually keeps it himself and usually keeps secrets, but the high priestess is a ch challenge or a blockage. Could be that somebody here, uh, somebody here may boast about how much of a player they are, or in and out kind of energy, or how passionate they are, or like how good they're in the sack, or whatever here. So there's going to be a failure here to try to get over some sort of oppressed energy so that we can move forward to healing and balance to a better place. So there may be an in and out energy here that somebody may uh, not be able to give that up for this to move forward. But somebody is gonna need to listen to the gut and their in, or their intuition or their gut feeling, higher knowing, may be reluctant to do that, to let this manifest to its full potential. So, hmm. I see, like, <laughs> I do see, like, two people, like, really liking each other and seeing each other as a wish dream come true, epiphany, but maybe not someone not really ready to commit or have something serious um, and may just want in and out kind of energy. Somebody may be really boastful, you know, about keeping, you know, things that happen in private and private. And someone may not like that either. Oh boy. So let's see what advice or guidance we have. Okay, I wanted 
four. So we do have the fool. So the vice guidance here is to jump right in, take a leap of faith. King of Swords to see with truth and clarity. Here's my divine intervention clarity card. This is Gemini. We have the sun. So this is a soulmate to inflame, happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing. And here's temperance trying to bring the soulmates together. Again, with patience and healing and balance. So the energy possible outcome advice guide is here. This it could be your happiness in the sun with the soulmate. If we can balance out the energies and have patience and see with truth and clarity exactly what kind of connection this is, so we can have this leap of faith, start fresh and new, and uh, jump right in here. So so far all we have is Gemini. So it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have air. Energy is here for a new beginning. We've got the Ace of Swords. Ace. Well, they have the Ace of Pentacles up there in their energy. I feel like, again, again, the spiritual connection. So, and we have the High Priestess here. So, and I have felt that when they connect with someone, they connect deeply. But for some reason, it could be you, maybe, uh, but you know, we do have a star here too so that's on your side. But I think they're going to feel this deep spiritual connection, but it may scare them. Or, you know, I'm getting kind of like mixed messages. So the energy is here, you know, for this deep, especially with spiritual connection, past lives, the sun. Uh, I did have the four of wands there. It could be a twin flame. This definitely could be a twin flame energy. The temperance, bringing the soulmates together. Wheel of fortune. This is something meant to be. Um, but there's truth, clarity here. Cutting away things no longer serving that need to be had. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ten of cups. Oh my gosh. Happy, happiness and joy in every single way, fulfillment. This is a Ten of Cups person. Wow. And the Queen of Cups. So having love, emotions, this is Cancer. Could be your energy or another Cancer. Love, emotions, feelings. Four of Pentacles. Someone still may hold back a little bit here. Three of Wands. Maybe keeping the other person waiting, waiting. Eight of Cups, somebody may walk away for a time here, maybe feeling a little too scared by this deep spiritual connection. But we do have the King of Cups here, Pisces. So somebody, you know, we have divine counterparts here with the King and Queen of Cups. So definitely soulmate twin flame energy. Somebody may leave for a time, but I feel like someone's going to return because they're going to feel that deep, deep spiritual connection between two. Somebody may be confused for a while with the Seven of Cups kind of energy. But we have the Prince of Swords and Knight of Swords rushing back in to the soulmate, past life. And here we had it over here, past life, past life soulmate energy, someone returning. So somebody will return maybe after a period of walking away or being a little confused about this connection. But we do have divine counterparts here again. So, so it may be a little bit of a, a <laughs> you know, back and forth with this person. They may be in and out for a time and they may leave, but I think they will come back. Um, it's depending on you, Cancer, <laughs> if you can put up with this person. I Ten of Cups. So I do feel, uh, again, they're very, I don't want to say high strung, but they just love and they seek out adventure, adrenaline rush. It, they like exciting, you know, adventurous things too. So if you like that kind of energy and that excites you, <laughs> uh, this person may be a little scared. They may come and go, but I think in the end they will return. So it's whether or not you want to wait for the spiritual connection. Or, you know, move on. I mean, you could date and they could come back. So I do see that energy, though. So like I said, we got Cancer, Pisces, and what do we have? Uh, Gemini. Cancer Pisces Gemini. So that's what I see. Or they could be any water or air sign. Okay, Cancer, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's always, always shine your light.